the apartment building is in the Haut Marais, which is in the center of Paris. The neighborhood is arty and trendy, with many museums, stores and restaurants. It is located on the second floor of the building. It is a duplex, with view on the street. It has a beautiful double height of 4.2 meters. Your support on Patreon means we can keep the Never Too Small episodes coming, so we can bring you more inspiring small footprint design just like this. Find out more at patreon.com slash never too small. My name is Thomas Fournier and I'm the founder of Consina, an architecture and interior studio in Paris. This is my apartment. I have been living here for the past two years. Since 1722, the building had been restored many times. I wanted to bring back some of the elements of the building past to create a soulful place I would enjoy. A chic and warm atmosphere. When I first found the apartment, the exterior looks magnificent. But the interior did not do the heritage of the building any justice. When I first found the apartment, there was a living room, kitchen, mezzanine bedroom, and a large bathroom. The staircase was a straight concrete staircase. I moved it next to the window. I modified the access to the bathroom in order to create the laundry closet. My design idea was to give elegance and charm to an apartment degraded by time and previous renovation. When you enter the apartment, you are greeted by a small entrance. The floor here is made of a solid oak parquet. On the left hand side are some storage hidden behind mirrors that reflect the surrounding space. The living area is divided into two spaces. A living room on one side and a dining room on the other. The living room is composed of a large navy blue velvet sofa with bespoke dedar cushions integrated between two custom-made bookcases. A large frameless mirror screen sits against the wall. It reflects the space and echoes the kinetic work of Jesus Rafaelo Soto. The radiator is hidden behind a painted wooden cover that also serves as a display for beautiful decorative objects. The living area sits under the mezzanine, so the ceiling in this area is lower. This gives the impression of a warm and cozy space. The dining area consists of a large Italian wood dining table. It can comfortably sit up to eight guests. Above the table is a vintage Murano glass chandelier and on the wall a collection of plates from the ceramist Morgan Pasqualini. The kitchen is compact but is fortunate to have a large window overlooking the street. The space has been optimized to have as much storage as possible. There is a full high storage behind the door with a large hidden refrigerator and freezer. On the other side is a large marble worktop with sink and plates. There is plenty of storage as well as an oven and a small integrated dishwasher. The original staircase was placed at the end of the dining table. It was a straight concrete staircase and felt imposing so we chose an helical shaped staircase that dates back to the 1900s. The bedroom is accessed via the spiral staircase and is located in the mezzanine area above the living room. It does not have direct natural light and the ceiling is lower in this room at 2.10 meters. To combat this, we dressed the wardrobe with mirrors to make the space look larger than it is. 
The walls and ceilings are painted in a dark olive green. It is possible to isolate the room from the rest of the apartment with a system of sliding shutters. Before entering the bathroom, there is a hidden cupboard which hides household storage such as a broom, iron board and my washing machine. The bathroom is my favorite room in the apartment. It is relatively large for a Parisian bathroom at 6.3 square meters and also has a nice window. For this room, I drew upon my Italian origins and used only materials from Italy. The Tuscan glass terracotta floor, the red marble and the hand painting tiles in Tuscany, which were used in the shower. The faucets are chrome to keep with the retro spirit. To design a small apartment, it is still essential to think of it above all as a normal apartment with living and reception areas. Clever use of mirrors and colors can give an impression of a larger volume. It is important to me that architects adapt so that the lack of space is not a disadvantage. If we can transform these inner city spaces into desirable living options, we may be able to make use of existing buildings and bring people back into the cities. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.